Hello and welcome my meat squanches. It's SJB here and we are doing a regular old strategy. We're using a dart sub start into an Etienne combo. My Etienne is going to be most of my cleanup in the back back here, but also the main thing he's going to do is give me that camo detection. I want the camo detection because this map is very spread out. You got islands up here, over here, over here, over here. It's very difficult to get enough villages to make everybody have camo detection. And even if you do end up getting some sort of decamoization, like a sub or a wizard in the front, it's not super duper consistent. So it can actually be really, really unfortunate. But what I want to do is I want to use a, uh, a tower here that makes other towers and spreads them out all over the place on top of that. So I really don't want to have to worry about that with my village. So I'm going to be going for engineers today. You guys might have seen from the thumbnail already. Engineers, hardcore, all day. I'm going to make sure that I put almost all of them, at least for now, on strong. Yeah. And what I want to do is I want to uh, sh uh, show off the weirdness of the engineer a lot of people vote for this guy as one of the worst towers in the entire game like consistently besides the mortar and the ice tower uh people just don't like the engineer uh it, it's kind of weird because he's got a couple of decent upgrades century expert is fan freaking fantastic believe it or not sprockets to early game is not bad at all century champion's fantastic extra clark trap if you use it right it could be fantastic and ultra boost is not bad. I mean, yes, it's expensive and is a little bit difficult to get, but it is not bad whatsoever. So we're gonna try to use um, mostly top path engineers combined with uh, an interesting way to play with engineers that a lot of people don't talk about, which is attack speed. Attack speed engineers become so OP that it gets unbelievably insane. And I promise you guys, by the end of this game, you're gonna be so, so, so surprised. You're gonna be like, wow. SJB, I bow down to the amazingness of your life. And if you want to, instead of bow da bowing down, you can just, like, press the like button for me instead. That would be absolutely amazing. And if you haven't, if you haven't, subscribe. Almost to 800k. Be a part of the 800k. Get subscribed. I think 70% of you guys right now uh, who watch my videos are not subscribed. So, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Get subscribed so we can, uh, you know, have some fun together. Okay, so round 28s are rolling up on us nice and quick-like. And to be honest, there's an easy answer for us. Let's make extra money by getting a lead to gold. This guy is going to allow us to make $50 to $750 bonus, just cash, automatically right now on around 20 and 30 And then for the rest of the game, he's going to be making us extra cash on top of that. And you know, you guys know what I like. I like extra money. Because it's not unpoppable, though, we get to make that extra money. But the only reason we're making the extra money is so we can buy the things that we would normally be able to afford on a regular chimps game, right? So here we go. We're going to go for our second banana farm of the day. And, uh... Yeah, just trying to make some extra cash, I guess. But I'll admit, defense is getting a little bit wild right now, so I don't want this to end up biting me in the butt. So we're going to go for our second engineer over here. We're going to throw him kind of right about Shna. We're going to leave him again on strong. And we're going to go for both these guys up to sentry guns. All right, these are, uh, again, uh, if you're going to buy an engineer, this is what you want to buy. Uh, early game, sentry gun, like this. Putting him on strong definitely helps out a lot because you're going to keep hitting the strongest blooms, slowing them down, allowing yourself to get more popping power overall. Um, now, we currently don't have cam detection for anybody but Etienne, but that's not going to be the case forever. Soon, probably, what, one more round, two more? Oh my god, the bananas! I'm so, so sorry. I know that it sucks to watch me letting bananas rot in the top corner there. I know that I'm awful, and I sometimes hate myself watching those banana bananas rot. I mean, wasting food is never good. I literally hate wasting food, by the way, in real life. Like, I, there's one thing that I... Uh, I I don't regret about, like, the weirdness that I am. Uh, it's I don't like wasting food. When I put food on my plate, I eat 100% of the food on my plate. Or, at the very least, I got garbage disposals sitting down right below me that I can easily just mur, 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 and, like, throw throw them on some garbage. Of course, like, I don't eat bones and things like that. Like, I, I have my limits. But uh, whenever there's food on my plate, I make sure that I, I definitely eat it. But at this point of the game... We got a little bit of a farm action. We got our uh, our nice lead to gold here, who's going to be making us some extra cash on round 37 as well. We got to watch the leads though, because um, I think yeah, let's leave on strong. Let's see what happens. All right, going pretty good. Going pretty good. Yes. All right. Look at all that extra cash. But I don't have any other le any other lead popping power right now besides just this elk. So uh, what I want to do is think about what we're going to do to pop with them by web. You might be thinking we got to build like a freaking sub up to. Advanced Intel, something, something, but uh, you don't need to. Instead, you just need to go for a Sentry Expert. If you're going to get a Sentry Expert, though, you're going to want to go for the middle path upgrade, deconstruction. This guy's going to allow you to pop them up pretty... Oh, that balloon! Okay, this actually could be a problem. Um. The, oh, no, it got popped somehow. Uh, oh, Sentry Expert got it. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, Sentry Expert. I'm glad it was coming on the top. Woo! All right. So, uh, he should be enough to take down round 40. If not, though, I want to play it a little on the safe side. And I think this is going to be a really good cleanup tower as well. 
want to go for the Ballistics Missile. I'm not going to go crazy and get an Advanced Intel or anything on it, but I like this guy because if there are any group blooms coming in over here, he will blow them up right in this general area, and then this guy will sort of clean up any other additional blooms that aren't there. But we're hoping that this is going to be a good enough Moab Popper. You kind of see the pop, pop, pop count go up. And there we go. We take down the Moab. Take down 90, like 8 or 99% of the blooms that come out of it. Clearly one of the toppest tierist towers in the entire game. All right, and guess what? Automatic camo detection, bro. Don't forget about it. All right, so at this point, what do we do? Well, you can clearly see blooms coming out of the bottom. Still not quite able to defend them. So what I want to do is I want to upgrade this guy a little bit. We're going to go for the faster during the sprockets. And again, another sentry expert double dipping on this uh, strategy right now. Uh, clearly, it is kind of important to get him because we're letting blooms leak all the way to the back over there. And even though it might seem like, oh, gotta worry about blooms, we're on round 44. I don't care about balloons, bro. I care about when the Moabs come out. So we're going to get another deconstruction engineer. And right now, I feel pretty comfy. I feel like I, I'm in the biggest, comfiest, feathery-filled couch that I could possibly be in right now. And guess what? It's like 12 feet wide and like 15 feet long, okay? It's like a bed couch. But it's, I guess, couches are kind of like beds, aren't they? What is the difference between a couch and a bed besides the, the size? Hmm. Intriguing. All right, things are going fan freaking tastic right now. I assume that if we pop the first mob, the second mob should go down just as easily, right? But I guess you have to re you do have to rely on luck being a mild factor. Small amounts of RNG for the century expert. It's less RNG as it is. How did Ninja Kiwi program him? Because if Ninja Kiwi programmed him to be wrong, like building the wrong sentries at the wrong times, or if a mob comes out and they don't build the ener energy sentries, which do a lot of pops compared to um, the bomb sentries and stuff like that, I don't know. It, it gets really goofy. Um, here we go. So you can see, the second mob actually a little tricky without this sub. We would have been in a little bit of a sticky situation. But we're still rocking it pretty far so far. Uh, pretty good so far. So I am not worried. I believe we can go for a second central market here, and that's probably it for farming. I think we can survive off those guys forever. Uh, we can start to really get this strategy rolling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to go for a uh, Twin Gun Saber starts combo. Uh, yeah, we can definitely see the Moabs are starting to overwhelm us a little bit. That is our biggest weakness if we have a weakness right now, is Moabs. So greed has most definitely been a factor for us so far. It's not really that the engineer is doing a bad job. He's a super cheap tower. He's not meant to do all of what I'm asking him to do right now. So let's get another one. Let's double dip him. Let's double dose on each side. Let's go for another uh, another quick Sentry Expert. Another quick Sentry Expert on the bottom. And again, I'm going to go for the Deconstruction. Now you're going to see the Wombo combo that we currently have. Once the mob gets popped, we've got random freezing sentries, random crushing sentries just blowing up all the ceramics. A bunch of laser sentries just killing all the balloons. And then cannon sentries which blow up all the group balloons on the inside of all of that. So it's just working out wonderfully at this point. Do we have a weakness? I mean, if anything, the bigger the balloon, the worse it's going to be. BFBs and stuff like that. So what do we do? Well, at this point, it's about getting some speed rolling. Alright, speed is a weird thing to get. Uh, if you want to get normally amounts of speed, you're going to have to get a, a village. But there are other ways to sort of get speed. Oh, look at the money. Oh, but no... Oh, we do have a cam dude. Oh, what am I worried about, bro? That's the freaking end, man. Don't forget about him! We got a BFB. Let's see what happens. I'm just kind of curious. Uh, BFB goes down. Blooms on the inside. A little bit overwhelming. Will the sub clean him up? Yes, he does. Don't need to use any of our abilities here at all. And we got a lot of money. All right. I'm just going to freaking do it, man. And I'm going to throw him. I'm going to throw him right here. All right. This is not like the most ideal location ever, but I will get a decent amount of engineers in range here. Um, and I wanted to make sure I get the entire islands on both these sides full of eventually engineers. <laughs> That's legit a real thing I'm going to do. But what I want to do instead of going for anything else, I want to go for a quick call to arms. All right. Now, don't forget call to arms got buffed recently. It gives... Uh, monkey's 50% attack speed and pops for a short time, quote unquote. The weird thing about the uh, sentries here, or the engineers in general, is that 50% attack speed means that you're building 50% more sentries. So when it wears off, it still lasts for a little while after the fact. So it actually gets kind of cool. The more speed you get, the more time you get to pop all those things, the more time you have uh, to throw down sentries and just get like a continuously long affecting uh, uh, thing. Just effects for a while. Uh, we got some... Dang, I can't believe that they're doing such a good job over there. It's crazy awesome. Uh, like, crazy, crazy awesome. 
In fact, that's probably why we're doing so good, is the sentries are getting put down in a spot they can attack over here as they wrap around a second time, and then as they wrap around a third time, in addition. All right, round 63, though, normally a very difficult round. Absolutely not problematic at all for us right now. And now I'm going to go for my fall to arms. Boom, boom. And because I like speed, we're going to get a drunk of drums as well. We get anybody in range here. I love it. All right, so we got a pretty tough uh, round over here. Unfortunately, with called arms again, you don't get the instantaneous bonus. You kind of have to wait for it. You get like a little bit of something, something. But you got to wait for the sentry to start to build up over here. Uh, and looks like we did a good job anyways. That speed is working out for us. Now, what are the other ways that we can increase the speed? Well, as it happens, there's another homeland defense upgrade waiting just after that to increase the attack speed and pops by 100% for 20 seconds. I don't actually know how long the fourth tier is activated for. It says a short time. I think it's 15 seconds. Could be 10. Um, could be 20, actually. But uh, homeland defense for sure is 20, so at least they, they tell you exactly what's going on here. Now, one other thing you can do with called arms if you want to is you can double dip, so you don't have to stop at just one. You can go for two of them. Now, I, I get, this is such a weird strategy. Why am I doing fourth tier random villages in the middle of the game here when I could be doing other things that are probably more efficient and better? It's a, it's a fun strategy, bro. It's a fun freaking strategy. That's the main thing. And I think it's going to allow me to get... Yeah, boys. We're going Monkey Wall Street. I want to make that extra cash. And I want to show you guys what we can do when we fully unlock the power of the Engineer. And things are still going pretty well. Um, I have not had to use Etienne's ability yet, but I think we're going to start having to use it pretty soon. Uh, I don't know. It gets, it's a little sketch, bro. Now, I, I, I should mention that I kind of did not mention the fact that it does increase the pops as well. So even though you don't get the immediate effect of the sentries, you do get the immediate effect of the extra pops. And then it's sort of like it double dips because then you get the sentries to uh, uh, work a little longer. So that... Uh, it's weird, but the ability cooldown does not just mean the end of the extra power. That's really all I'm saying here. All right, we got enough money, I believe. If not, we're very, very close. Let's wait like a few more seconds. And uh, why does it have to be the slowest part of the entire game right now? Uh, that looks good. And Monkey Wall Street! All right, now this is weird because this is right before round 75, one of the toughest rounds in the game, and I think I got to go for it, man. I got to go for another double dose of Century Experts, one on the top and, of course, one on the bottom. Let's see if these guys can handle round 75. We're going to wait until the last second to use this ability. Mm, it's about the last second for me. Yeah, let's go for it. I've got uh, uh, UCAV views as well, but it does not look like it's required at all. Round 75 goes down around 76. Lasting through around 76. We take that down easily as well. Unfrickin' believable, bro. All right, let's go for an another Sentry Expert with Deconstruction. All right, what do we do now? Well, we've got a Monkey Wall Street. He's making some extra cash, but I feel like I can go for one more. Just one more. And believe it or not, we're not going to hold him around the entire game. I'm just going to make money for a little while because i got to get some buildings going. Um, I have to build up. Build up my strategy. Build up my defense to show off the awesomeness. 79 rolling in here. This is, again, defending almost everything with a weird combo of sentry experts. Uh, it, it is goofy. Don't get me wrong. It's weird. You should be thinking this is not something that I expected to have happened. But it is. It is indeed happening. All right, let's use this guy again. And we, oh, we start annihilating. All right, so what are we going to do now? Well, I want to put him in range of the village. I'm going to go for one more sentry expert. We're going to put him in the front of the map, though. I'm also going to get the deconstruction, but I do need to start getting a sentry champ. Okay, he's going to be 38-4. He's going to be pricey. Don't get me wrong. Um, but how the heck am I going to pop these bigger balloons without him? I don't know. So let's check this out without a UCAV. Without a UCAV. <laughs> so my god goes down pretty easily. Oh my gosh. That feels good. Okay, okay, okay. I think I gotta be done with the Monkey Wall Street, Wall Street soon. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the Monkey Wall Street. Let's buy this guy up to a Century Champion. And then that's not it though. I wanna go for another random engineer. We're gonna throw him in the middle of the map, even though this is not a good spot at all. I'm gonna go for a quick. Mm, can I afford him? Oh, I messed up by just a few thousand dollars here. It's not a big deal though. Not a big deal. I'm gonna sell it. To, it was 86,000. Oh my god, it's so expensive on uh, Impoppable. Oh, I thought I mathed it just right, bro. I wanted to get my build up flowing. Um, but 
Uh, now, sounds good. 86,000, we got the Ultra Boost. So now what do we do? Well, we're gonna be Ultra Boosting our Engineers. We're gonna be combo playing this. Now, I still want to get my money back. I want to try to get a Homeland Defense going, and I think $48,000 by the end of the game probably possible. But if I can get it any earlier, I'm gonna try to make it happen, right? So I'm thinking of Marketplace. I'm thinking we just keep on Ultra Boosting our highest level Sentry Champs, and then if we want to, we start Ultra Boosting literally Sentry Experts. It's a weird, stupid kind of strategy. But it, it can definitely work. All right, that's the main thing. So you can't see the pops going on right now, but just trust me, it's going pretty well. <laughs> oh my god, and this is just with the uh, Ultra Boost right now. I'm not even showing off the amazingness of the Call to Arms combo. So let's Call to Arms combo this just to show you what the heck is going on with the ridiculousness of this Engineer combo. Oh my god's coming in. Oh my god's annihilated. Oh my god's coming in. Oh my god's annihilated. Oh, we're actually not quite as annihilated. Just like mildly annihilated. Uh, okay. Let's keep on call to arms, I guess. And then if we want to, we can again double dip on the call to arms. We can go for more of those guys and then start spamming Sentry Experts on top of that. So, uh, I guess the main thing is can we get a 10 times overclocked, uh, uh, engineer here. Oh, and then we get an ATN level 20. So this is now unfolding into an unstoppable force of, of literally deconstruction of blues. We are deconstructing these guys. They are, as they as they get constructed and walk into their, they're being birthed out into life right now. And then we're just like, and uh, sorry, no, goodbye. You have been destroyed. Everything about you is, is deconstructed and life is now officially over for you. All right, we're making, are we making extra cash from this engineer too? Oh, DDTs. <laughs> DD freaking Ts. All right, let's get another uh, uh, cold arms going. Ultra boost on top. We got seven times ultra boost. Uh, uh, engineer over here. You can see the amount of sentries kind of going on right now. It's kind of wild. Kind of wild. Uh, I still don't have quite enough money for homeland defense though. Again, it's like money is kind of weird. If you don't, if you don't spend it just right, it can start to get a little wild. All right, another call to arms going for ourselves. Round ninety-three. I guess one of the only issues is that all of my defense is built up in the front. If I let the balloons sneak through back to over here, I gotta rely on Etienne or like a sub, a ballistics missile sub to defend, and that just probably will not happen. All right, nine times out of ten right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the banana farm. I'm gonna try to wait this out for just a, a little bit longer. Let's call to arms this puppy, and it looks good for round 94. Round 95, I don't expect to be a major issue. And there it is, maxing him out 10 times overclocked, Sentry Champion. Uh, so yeah, I can sell for the uh, Homeland Defense right now if I want to. But I'd rather not, and then sell this guy and get another 4th tier village so I can triple combo. Always have one of these guys activated um, for a continuous amazing amount of power. power. Alright, so I'm actually going to start Ultra Boosting a different Engineer down here. Even though it's probably more effective for me to just straight up keep ultra boosting this guy. It just is. It's kind of weird that it is, but it just is. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say screw it anyways. I'm going to start upgrading somebody else. Why not? All right. And here we go. Homeland defense is officially up. Oh, baby. We're going to get another village over here. We're going to throw it in this. I guess, you know, we didn't build as many as I thought we were going to build. Let's just throw it down in the middle of all this. I'm going to go over the uh, jiggle drums and, of course, the uh, middle path as soon as we get. All right, Homeland Defense, check this out. Womp, womp. Look at the amazingness of that. Now we have round 98 going on right now. The round 98, it doesn't even make it on the screen. Are you kidding me right now? Now, this is the perfect time. If you guys are like, wow, Chris, you actually did tell me the truth right now. This is a pretty amazingly awesome strategy. Press that like button. Subscribe if you have not. And, uh, of course... Use my creator support code. It's SJB. You just click the settings button, type in SJB, and uh, everybody's happy. Oh, I ultra boosted the wrong person. All right, I guess we're making tons of extra cash for round 99. Uh, let's homeland defense this crap, though. Homeland defense. All right, do I have enough money to make this happen? I think so. Let's get another call to arms. We're going to sell this guy finally. Call to arms. And now I can... Eh. The timing doesn't really work out that well, but it should be okay. I mean, this guy's so dominant anyways. It's a freaking bad, though. The bad gets killed so early without even wasting any of my abilities. I didn't have a homeland defense activated during that time. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we gotta ch check out late game here. Just Is it an automatic win uh, late game, or is this actually gonna start to get a bit strugglicious? So, against the biggest balloons, while we have homeland defense activated, no freaking 
problem at all. I'm gonna use a reinforce on my god to stop getting an eyelid as soon as they walk in. But, um... Uh... DDT, same thing, as soon as they call, come in. I mean, there is gonna be a big chunk of reinforce on my gods right now, though. Oh, big chunk, but Homeland Defense gets activated. And the melting will commence. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. All right, let's say screw Ultra Boosty this guy now. Let's switch back to uh, a bunch of engineers. Let's actually build a bunch of engineers down here. All right. Whatever I can fit. I can only fit four over there. I can fit what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Homeland Defense. Go, go, go. I can only fit another three in range over there. And we're going to build them all up to Century Experts with the middle path upgrade. Oh, yeah, spam a ram a ding dong, boys. Spam a ram a ding dong. Okay, uh. This is one of the weirdest engineer strategies ever, but you gotta admit that when you get it going, when you get the full strategy rolling, it's pretty epic. Oh, I cannot find the hotkey for that thing. Alright, we got just last second here. Homeland defense again, R107, against all the Zoomer Gurds. Again, we pretty much annihilate. I mean, the, 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 they're. The, the, I'll meet you guys back in a couple rounds. I'll meet you back when we lose, probably, because this is just getting kind of wild right now. No, we didn't last as long as I thought we would. It's okay. Around 109. Uh, we got 2 million, nearly 3 million pops out of this engineer right here. Uh, kind of makes sense. Everybody else obviously did something. They were not doing nothing the entire game. The guys that have been around the entire game have been like 170k pops or something like that. But the clear king of everything was the Sentry Champion, just super buffed. Ultra boosted to the max. Homeland defense to the max. He just popped the balloons as soon as they walked in, and he made a good tower happen for us. Um, Etienne, still 363, but uh, honestly, not as many as I would have expected for a UCAV kind of attacking everything after around like 90 or so. So if you guys enjoyed, press the like button, subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.